this week against the Niners in terms of the first string defense? Yeah, uh, you know, just to continue to improve. Uh, we saw some, stuff, saw some plays, you know, it was, it was nice to just kind of, you know, obviously it's thrown together in a day, but putting a little game plan together and going out there and being able to execute it and all kind of be on the same page. How was the communication uh, from, I guess, Vance to you guys? Yeah, uh, it was great. Uh, you know, the pre, like I said, it, you know, it's a short script, so, you know, he got it out quick and we were able to just kind of fly around, which is nice. Cool, yeah. <laughs> when, when you had the play where you, where you made the run stop on third yeah. down, is that a situation where you kind of, you can see at the line of scrimmage, like, you know, before the snap that you're going to have that, that kind of run, or do you have to sort of, you know, see how it materializes? And yeah, uh, a little bit of both, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, that, that play is pretty common, and then uh, a lot of people aren't going to run a lot of play actions on third and one, especially in the preseason, so just kind of only have a certain amount of plays anyway, so might as well take a shot. And if, you know, they, they do something where I'm wrong, it's kind of like, all right, well, we'll, uh, we'll go over it, but it's not going to, you know, win or lose games. So, you, you know, just take a shot then and get us off the field. You know, we've only done three reps at a time so far. So get off faster, we all feel better. In that regard, you're probably going to play significantly more this week. It's kind of usually you don't play a lot in that third game. How much does that this game matter in that regard then with the whole group kind of together? Uh, it, it's just nice to, you know, be out there, I think. You know, I, for us, it's, you know, just getting those live reps against somebody else to be able to go to the ground, just to finish. It, that's the biggest thing is tackling, I think. You know, we can work everything else all day, every day, but until you, you know, you get a couple of those and you don't really know, you know, how, how you're going to feel after, you know, nine months off, you know, a little bit older. So, you know, they add up. So you just got to, you know, make sure it still feels good, with, which it does. So. Do you get rusty tackling? No. At, no. Yeah, you love tackling though. You're old school that way. Yeah, I don't. You know, I don't think there's anything better. It's fun. It's the only time you get to hit people anymore. So, <laughs> how much for game day? So it's exciting. How much freedom do you have, or do you try to approach a, a game where you know you're going to be out there 15, 20 snaps max, or maybe a little more? To know it doesn't really count that you can guess here and there, work on stuff. Well, what's not? I mean, I think in our defense, you know, it's not as much guessing. It's you know, knowing who we play with, how you know how we all play together and you can kind of, you know, between me and Josie, we can kind of talk about, Hey, like I'm going to do this if we see this or whatever. And by the time we see it, it's just kind of, you know, we know what the other one's going to do. We can cover up for him and kind of play off that. So it's not as much just kind of, you know, free balling it. It's very much like we, we kind of all know what we're doing. And same thing with like the D line, you know, we can, we can stunt them. We get the freedom to do kind of that kind of stuff, but it, it's all within the scheme. Like you mentioned, you, you don't get the, have a full look at this run game that you guys go against every day because you're not tackling. But, but what are some of the things that you see with that unit that makes you think they're, they're going to be better on the ground this year? Yeah, uh, I mean, one, I mean, the guys, I mean, that O-line is good. I mean, I think bringing Ben and Mike in, you know, are huge, obviously, you know, pickups. And, you know, they get off the ball fast. You know, nine on seven is not the most fun period that we do. And uh, so, I mean, that's as live as it does get. And, you know, they're, they're good and they're going to be good. And it's, it's exciting. What have you seen from Jonathan Harris from your view when he's out there with you guys in the one? Yeah, uh, he's great. He's been playing great, you know, since OTAs. Uh, it's exciting to, you know, just continue to see him improve and get better. And, yeah, he's playing like a one, so it's really exciting to see. What about Zach Allen bringing him in? Yeah, uh, he's awesome. Zach's great, too. Just another another one of those additions like Ben and Mike, I think, you know, just makes us better. You know, obviously, that position wasn't a bad position we had last year, you know, Draymond was, you know, great. So to bring in another guy like that and to, you know, continue to have a dominant guy in that position, uh, it makes it way easier for us on the backside. So it's, it's nice. Sean was talking about stressing with some of the younger guys and you know, playing special teams in your past in the roster. How much do you talk to some of these guys? Uh, yeah, a lot. Uh, you know, a lot of the guys don't think I, you know, did that all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, it's how I would probably say, you know, 80% of guys, you know, make it to the NFL as playing teams for, one, two, you know, eight years, however you have to, <laughs> whatever you have to do to do it. And I think, yeah, it, it's something that, you know, guys have to focus on. You know, you're not getting, you're not getting reps with the one. Some guys aren't getting reps with the twos on offense or defense and you have to, but you're a one or two on special teams. And that's how you make a team. Uh, it's the more you can do and the more they can rely on you on special teams, you know, they know they can trust you on offense or defense. Is that, is that hard for some guys coming from being one of the best guys at their college to have another yeah, I think, I mean, the NFL is humbling as it is. You know, it's, you know, there's 32 teams instead of however many college teams. You know, you're getting the best players from every single team. And, yeah, and then there's only, you know, 48 dress on Sunday. So you got to be able to do it. And, yeah, you got to – that's where, you you know, you got to take a step back and realize, you know, a role and, you know, fill it. And 
when you can, I think it makes the better players when you stop worrying about yourself and you worry about the team more and makes the team better. And then overall, you'll eventually get to play the better you are on the teams. Alex, I think the thing we've mo noticed most about Coach Minuski is the, the grunt and the full arm throw he puts into these throws <laughs> during drills. But what, what have you guys taken from him? Uh, obviously, a guy that's been coaching this league for you know uh, two and a half decades. Yeah, and played the other decade and a half before that. So, you know, he's kind of, he's been in the NFL forever. So it, it's nice having a guy like that who's, you know, seen every look, you know, played in half these offenses we're playing against that are kind of moving back to that old school run game. You know, he's like, oh, he, he can tell you how it was all invented in a meeting. So it's it's cool to have that insight. And yeah, I mean, I think it's great having a player coach, especially when his shoulder doesn't work and we're doing indie, but uh, it works. Alex, thank you. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. <laughs>